New York City comprises the five boroughs and is divided into 59 community districts. Throughout the boroughs, there are hundreds of distinct neighborhoods, many with a definable history and character all their own. If the boroughs were independent cities, each would rank among the 50 most populous cities in the United States. Once a sprawling home of much of New York City's Italian population, Little Italy has become more of a tourist destination than a residential neighborhood in recent years, and now occupies little more than a few blocks of Mulberry Street in Lower Manhattan. Generations of Italian Americans made their homes in this neighborhood for over a century. Walking beside the narrow cobblestone streets of Little Italy beneath the fire escapes of turn-of-the-century tenements, tourists are tempted by the sights, sounds, and smells of Italian cuisine and culture emanating from the restaurants and shops lining the streets. New York City's Chinatown, a tightly packed yet sprawling neighborhood which continues to grow rapidly, is the largest Chinatown in the United States and the site of the largest concentration of Chinese in the Western Hemisphere. This colorful and vibrant area of the city is both a tourist attraction and the home of the majority of Chinese New Yorkers. Chinatown offers visitor and resident alike hundreds of restaurants, booming fruit and fish markets, and shops full of knickknacks and sweets on narrow and overcrowded streets. Leaving the formal grid structure that dominates the city north of 14th Street and wandering the streets of Greenwich Village creates the impression of having escaped the metropolis for the charms of a small European city. In the popular imagination, New York City's Greenwich Village has long been known as a center of bohemianism, home to avant-garde artists, political radicals, and other nonconformists who challenged the reigning orthodoxies of their time. 
Yet a century ago, the village was a much different kind of place. A mixed-class, multi-ethnic neighborhood teeming with the energy and social tensions of a rapidly changing America. While the neighborhood lies in the heart of Lower Manhattan, visitors will notice a difference in the layouts of the streets in the village compared with the rest of Manhattan. The reason is that when the streets were designed, the neighborhood was not yet part of New York City and therefore was not subject to the regulations that forced the rest of the city to be laid out in a grid pattern. While most of the streets in the rest of Manhattan are identified by numbers or letters, many of Greenwich Village's streets are named. Greenwich Village offers a great respite from the urban chaos with its calmer, more manageable feel, and its lower buildings allow more sunshine to reach the streets.